One of the initiatives at chiropractic is biomechanics. Beyond that, we're interested in education in any way we can marry those two. And it turns out that we've developed a system based around a force plate that allows us to measure forces and measure them very accurately in three different directions. And this is good for doing a description of an adjustment. First off, this big block of foam we call a mannequin. It's a little bit crude as a mannequin, but it does have a plastic spine inside. This looks like a normal chiropractic table. It has a force plate inside. This is sort of a $10,000 bathroom scale that measures forces of three dimensions. We are developing a system where we can measure the amount of force coming out of the hand with this glove. We can measure the direction that the hand, forearm, and arm are moving in while performing a thrust. Um, and so we, we really have four systems at once. Force in the hand, motion the, of the arm, force into the table, and direction of the force in the table. To track the motions of performing adjustments, we use these uh, inertial measurement unit sensors, and it tracks motion basically the same way that your cell phone uh, tracks motion. You know, major purpose of having the adjusting mannequin is, is definitely education. We can give students a specific target, and we can measure all those things to see how close they actually get, as opposed to a faculty member looking at them and making a subjective judgment. One of the things that, that we're interested in is making a spine that's as lifelike as possible. Now this is a spine that's made by using a 3D printer, and these are all life-size scale bones but what makes this unique is the fact that it has little tuners on here like a guitar or a banjo and when you tighten these things down it pulls on threads and these threads are connected to the facets of the spine and we can actually create spinal fixations with this thing this particular thing that I have on here is a series of very very strong magnets stuck on a piece of steel and with these magnets and this steel, this actually is finally strong enough to cause a fixation. To make it as lifelike as possible, we have to make it so that it can develop fixations, as I've talked about, and it also has to feel right. We're starting small, just with a lumbar spine on this model, but the President's vision, and it's a good one, is to have a full-size model of the spine and a mannequin and something that can be used for student teaching and could even perhaps be used in doctor's offices as a patient education tool. Education notwithstanding, one of the things that is very important is adding to the body of knowledge of the chiropractic profession. One thing that nobody seems to have ever done much of is, is measure forces, times, directions, three-dimensionally, which we're doing here now. Any information that we can glean from the sensors that are embedded in the mannequin and outside the mannequin will result in a better understanding of what happens when these forces are applied. Mm -hmm.